Southwest Airlines operations appear to have recovered from their holiday week meltdown. Flight Aware reported only about two dozen cancellations today. But the anger and frustration of Southwest passengers lingers on. Many are still trying to get to where they want to be. We spoke to two Southwest passengers to hear their tales of canceled flights, lost luggage, and missed family gatherings. My name is Ruth, and I was traveling um, from Los Angeles to Seattle to visit some family. And then I had a layover in Denver before I got to my final, the final leg of my journey, which was in Kansas City. And the layover in Denver is where I got stuck. I'm James. I was headed from Baltimore to Denver on Monday the 26th when my flight was canceled. Um, and I had to wait until Friday um, to reschedule. I think we went through probably about four delays and um, then I started hanging around the gate instead of walking around the airport because I realized that something something was up. So at first they said, you know, we don't, we're missing one flight attendant. And so we're sorry, we can't take off. Then they got on about 30 minutes later and he said, actually, we're missing two flight attendants and we can't take off. And then they got on the overhead and said, actually, um, KCI is not letting anyone land right now. And then eventually um, they announced that our flight was canceled. So the plan was to go from Baltimore to Minneapolis and then Minneapolis to Denver. And uh, we looked and we saw that our flight from Minneapolis to Denver had been canceled. And so we went to the airport to try and get a different flight, um, but the full, full service lane was very long. It, we stayed there for about an hour and got, you know, maybe 50 feet forward in the line. It was difficult to rebook um, on the app. I was looking at the flight. I was trying to check the flight status, but I w on the Southwest app, I could not get it to load or work at all. My girlfriend could not get the Southwest flight status stuff to work at all. Um, we even called the phone lines um, and I got a busy signal. And so that was really frustrating to deal with, to not get any help um, on that side of things. So I had been standing in line for about four hours um, waiting to get a refund or to get a voucher for my flight. And when I got up to the front of the line, I was the next person. I was watching the, the solo agent that had been working nonstop all the hours that I'd been there. And as I got up to the front, her supervisor came up and told her that she was going to have to work another shift. And I heard her say, I can do it. No, I can do it. I can do it. And then she like started shaking. And then she just broke down crying um, because, you know, she had, she told her supervisor, I mean, you know, I have been here since 3 a.m., right? You know, and at that point it had been 9 p.m. And um, I think, what is that, 16, 18 hours that she'd been working and another shift. Um, it just looked like it was about to push her over the edge. The whole time, it just felt like there weren't enough people there to help. There were people that were trying their best, and I felt bad for those people because they had to deal with, you know, 500 ang angry passengers. Both had to change their holiday plans. We kind of rolled with it, but um, we were all a little disappointed because, um, you know, all my family members only take one or two days off of work um, around the holidays. I think we've had, I think, two hours all together before one of my brothers had to fly um, out of state back to his house. So less family time than than normal for sure luckily i was with my family um so i was able to just spend an extra week with them um but unfortunately a minute i lost out on a whole week of pay because i was planning on coming back and working the week between christmas and new year's when i learned that my flight had been canceled and that i could get a new flight i called up my boss immediately um let him know hey, I, my flight has been canceled and the soonest I could get rescheduled was for a Friday. This was on a Monday. Um, so he was clearly frustrated. Southwest says it will refund tickets for canceled flights and compensate passengers for what it calls reasonable extra expenses. But Schmidt says that's not her top priority. So my flight back to LA is booked on the 1st. Um, and as of right now, I did get an email from Southwest and they said, uh, currently, your flight does not look like it's going to be disrupted. I'm really hopeful that I'm going to get back. Um, I do have to be at work. Um, just crossing my fingers and hoping and hoping that works out. To update, James Bolter made it home Friday night, but Ruth Schmidt right now is at the Phoenix airport. Her connecting Southwest flight home to Los Angeles is delayed. 
Fingers crossed.